pollinator protectors. Today what we're going to build is a mason bee hotel. So you've learned all about the mason bee, a little different than a honeybee. Uh, doesn't uh, create honey, doesn't make honey, but instead they're excellent pollinators because again they like to belly flop on those flowers and get covered in pollen and we'll move from flower to flower. So a bee hotel for a mason bee you need a can. So we're gonna recycle essentially everything that we're using today. So a can, so if you had carrots for dinner last night, grab the can, go out in your yard and find some sticks. We're gonna break them into small pieces. You need some paper. Now I'm using a clean piece of paper, but you could recycle old homework if you wanted to. Um, you'll need some string or some yarn. And then tools, you'll need a pair of scissors. Make sure you have a parent with you when you're ready to use your scissors. Um, you'll need an adult with a hammer and either an awl or a nail will work to punch a hole in the can. And then we'll need some tape. So first thing that we're gonna do is look on the can it says, please recycle. We're gonna upcycle this can. And so we're gonna turn it into something entirely new. So we're gonna strip off the label, kind of fun. Whoa. So we're gonna take that label off of the can. And once we have the label all off, we're gonna be, you get the idea. We're gonna be left with just our can. Now we wanna make our bee hotel so it'll hang from like a limb of a tree or maybe if you have a, a bird feeder, it can hang down. You want it about three feet off the ground. So three feet, about that far, turn it sideways. That's about how far you're gonna hang your Mason bee hotel from the ground. So very first thing is we need to poke some holes. This is an adult's job. So the adult, can either take an awl, which is just a pointy tool, or if you have a nail, and then you're just going to carefully hammer in and create two holes as best you can in line with each other into the can. Once we have two holes in the can, then what we're gonna do is take some uh, yarn. I just use some heavy duty like baling jute, but you can use just plain old yarn and you're gonna work it in so that we can pull the yarn up through. I'm gonna get my other one lined up. Always be careful because when you poke a hole in the metal, it might be sharp. So again, this again might be a great job for your adult to do to help you out. So once you have your a yarn or your string up through, we're just gonna tie a knot in the end and again, if you need an adult, have your pollinator protector parents help you out. So I have my can and now it can hang. So mason bees like to tunnel and they like to construct things. So what we're gonna do is give them some tunnels so that these bees that are for the most part pretty solitary have a place to go. So if you have just a normal sized piece of paper, all you're gonna do is take that again Make sure you have an adult that is comfortable with allowing you to use scissors or have your adult help you cut the paper in half. So now I have some strips and we're just gonna roll the strip. And if it's helpful, you can take one of your, uh, take one of your sticks or a pencil and you can roll your paper roll right around the stick. And so then you'll need a little piece of tape or some type of adhesive, and you're gonna tape it shut and pull the stick out. Now I have a tube for our mason bees. And so I'm gonna load up, I cheated, I made my tubes early. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of paper tubes into my bee hotel. And again, this can be recycled paper if you have, um, newspaper, you can use any kind of paper, but we're gonna fill it about halfway with that. And then I just went out in the yard and found different small sticks. I'm gonna fill the rest with sticks. Once I get this all filled in and really cool sticks, if you can find them, just like straws that are hollow, you can put some hollow sticks in it, but you wanna pack this tight with sticks in your paper and if you need more paper add some more paper into your bee hotel and it's okay if they're if they stick out a little bit or you can if you like it perfect you can cut them so that they perfectly fit inside the can so once i get my last couple of sticks in here that one's, that one's 
so hairy. What I have created is a little bee hotel. So this is for our friends, the Mason Bees. So I hope you had fun pollinator protectors making your bee hotel. Take some pictures and upload them to our website.